What's up y'all? I'm out here at the range on a cold sunny day. Been out here having some fun, testing a few things out. And for this one right here, we're giving a second chance to another Henry Big Boy Revolver. I don't know what happened to that first boom boom, but the other ones worked out okay. Just so y'all don't think I'm out here scrubbing it up already, I hit that thing clean. It just didn't want to cooperate. All right, y'all, it just don't feel right if I don't start things out with a boom boom. So I got us another one pasted up there. Let's see if I can get this one. Definitely a better start. All right, so if y'all are not regular watchers of the channel, this is actually the second time out for me in a Henry 357 Big Boy Revolver. Not this exact one because this is a replacement for the first one that I brought out here. The first one, I'll leave a link for the video. It was all over the place. You know, I'm not the greatest shot in the world, but I'm pretty decent most of the time if I can get used to the tool. And I was just all over the place with the thing from the bench, from standing, all different ranges. Just it was really, really high and really, really high and left if I remember correctly even with changing the front uh, ramp up here to the highest one or the front blade to the highest one it was still incredibly high so uh, Henry to their credit they got in touch with me after seeing the video I didn't even have to get in touch with them uh, sent me out a return label it was during the holidays so it was a little bit longer than it probably would have been but not incredibly long sent it out I sent it right back uh, they sent me an email maybe a week later that they were going to replace this and then probably two weeks later I've had this now for uh, uh, maybe a couple weeks at least at least a week maybe a couple weeks but sent it out to me uh the return paperwork didn't have anything that they found or anything unfortunately i'm, I'm curious to see if they found something what it was but all it said service performed was replacement so here we are with the replacement um so far i sent some rounds before i started obviously so i could see where my point of impact was i went ahead and stuck this high blade back on because it was really high um the first couple rounds was pretty much winded right on and and then they started stringing back and forth. I thought, what in the heck is going on? Don't tell me again. So um, when I went to change the high and put the high blade on here, it was absolutely loose. It was wobbling all over the place. So that explained that. It seems to be pretty decent right now. It's still a little bit higher than I'm used to, but I just have to do a six o'clock hold on it. So for this outing, I'm just going to put some rounds through it and see what kind of accuracy it has. Already, it's vastly improved for what it was. So hopefully we'll be good to go. Now, I'm probably just going to send everything sitting at the bench out here today with it just to make sure you know it's not me wobbling all over the place messing up or whatever so let's just send a couple rounds through it right now i've got this 158 norma uh, fmj in it i'm gonna pop them two cans of shaving cream or at least i'm gonna try to anyway All right, I can't complain much on that one because I was right on point of aim. And if I would have done that the first time, it would have been off into the wild blue yonder. All right, I'm going to send these last three Norma FMJs right there at that 10 yarder just to see what kind of rough group I'm getting here. That was me from the swinging of the target. That was all three of them. I'm going to tell you what, that is a huge, huge difference from that first time. Even right here, this exact same bench doing this exact same thing, they were all so far over to the left that I had to aim almost to the right side of this target to get them on target. So I don't know if they found anything, what they found, but something is definitely different with this one. All right, y'all, this time I've got six rounds of this Arms Core 357 Mag uh, 158 grain FMJ. I'm going to send them out here to the 25 and see where we at. I'm going to press my luck. Got them in a little pasty pasted out there, so I'm going to try to aim for that. I can barely see that thing. My doggone eyes are terrible, y'all know. I think I'm left. Can't tell. Ah, that was me. I totally rushed that. I think I'm left over there. I really can't see, to be honest with you. Mm. 
Well, it was just a barely a little tinker there. How many was that? That was all of them right there. So I don't think I missed but one out there. Probably not the tightest group, but for my terrible vision, that ain't too bad. All right, let's see what we can do to this watermelon here, y'all. This time I've got a PPU 158 grain JHP loaded up in it. These things aren't the greatest. I don't think I got any expansion when I tested them in the jelly. So we may not get anything real, real exciting here. Let's see what happens. Wasn't too bad. I didn't hit it exactly clean, but not bad at all. All right, y'all, I'm going to really press my luck now. I'm going to go out there to the 50 and see if I can ring a few. Um, I'm pretty happy so far. I believe so far I've got a good one this time. Any of the kind of deviation off of where I'm aiming right now is probably all me just wobbling. I feel like, I feel like they got me a good one this time, but... Let's see if I can hit any out there at 50. I can barely even, I can barely even see anything, especially using this gutter sight. All right, let me see where I rung that at so I at least know if I'm in the... Ooh, that was way down at the bottom. Okay, I was actually holding at the bottom. I thought I might uh, hit a little bit high, but apparently I was holding too low. Let's see, let's try that again. No, I, I compensated and missed that time. Let's try it one more time. There we go. Let's see where I'm at now. Uh, oh, yeah, that's much better, much better. Walked it on up. Ah, that was totally me. I don't know why I missed that one. There we go. I'm scrubbing it up out there now, I'm trying to clean it up. All right, yeah, I went back to that same hole. Was that all of them? Yeah, that was all of them. I'm going to stop out there at 50 for the day. I ain't pressing my luck no more. All right, let's see if we can end it off with a little fancy boom boom. I just barely skinned it. All right, it's a mess down there now, but I might be able to still get that boom boom through all that foam. Let's see what happens. That's more like it. All right, y'all, I'm personally satisfied enough with what I saw to call it for the day with this Henry 357 Magnum Big Boy Revolver. They definitely got it right the second time around. Any misses that have happened out here today, I feel very confident saying that was just me wobbling, just scrubbing it up, pulling, whatever the case. I think this one right here is good to go. Most of these shots today, I would have totally missed that first outing just because I was having to aim out into the middle of nowhere, really just guessing where my point of impact might be. So I'm very happy to see that this replacements running good because I really like these revolvers. I like the look of them. I think they've got a unique, different look from most of the other stuff out there. So really, really glad that this one's running good. Now, that being said, y'all know how I feel about having to return stuff like this and knowing how good somebody's customer service is. My opinion, if you know how good somebody's customer service is, there's already something gone wrong because I don't even want to talk to customer service. If I'm talking to customer service, that means something has gone wrong that should not have. So I'm certainly not excusing or just this missing the fact that that first one went out and it was no good um you know in my case it wasn't a huge deal because i've got tons of things to come out here and play with somebody else who doesn't and is not in the position like that that would have been a much bigger deal and that would not have been fun and not a cool situation to pay money like that and then to have to send something back and wait that is just not cool but in the end they did make it right and they did it in a pretty timely manner which is more than i can say for somebody like sig they never did make it right in my opinion so i don't have any problem 
problem at all buying more stuff from Henry. Um, I'm not happy that it happened in the first place. And again, I'm certainly not excusing that, but they did make it right in the end. But let me know down in the comments what y'all think about it. If this was to happen to one of y'all uh, and they sent back a new one and it works fine like this, would y'all be good to go with that? Would you just forgive and forget? Would you hold a grudge against them? Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. If you did enjoy the video, reach down and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you got your notifications turned on so you get notified when I upload new stuff. Again, a reminder to check out those affiliate links in the video description. If you're doing some shopping and get something after hitting up those links down there, I get a kickback from them towards the channel, so I really appreciate that. Once again, as always, a big thanks to all my Range Gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel like y'all do. I've had a lot of fun out here with a couple new tools and really happy again to see this Henry in good shape. I've got a lot more good stuff headed y'all's way, so stay on the lookout for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.